guys, welcome to my little corner of the world. A lot of my artwork leaves the house in the form of gifts, and today's work was really no exception. I spent some time with acrylics painting a skull and roses for my brother-in-law's birthday. His nickname is Skull. It's a marine thing, is all I can tell you. And I wanted to make something that he would enjoy. So my process is pretty simple. When I'm planning a painting, I begin by sketching on either my iPad or in Photoshop. I like the fact that I can manipulate until I have the composition the way I want it. And you'll see over on the side, kind of behind my pink cup at the moment, that there's a sheet of paper and that is my printout. What I do is when I've got it finalized in either Procreate or Photoshop, I like both, um, I color it in with flat colors and try to place an emphasis on my shadows and my highlights. These are the things that I struggle the most with. And if I'm happy with the overall composition, then I'll print it out and either transfer it to my canvas or redraw it. Now, since I wanted this to be a little more precise, I did opt to transfer it using what I call tracing paper, um, carbon paper. I'm not sure what the right term is for it. And anyway, with that said, I always, in the past, have started with painting my background and moving forward. This time I decided to try to, you know, toss my world up, make my mind think a little differently. And I started by painting the skull and then working through. And then I believe, and I'm too lazy to fast forward to see, but I believe when I got toward the end, I started adding in some detail and then I painted a second coat of my background, which you'll see in a little bit. So, general chatter, I don't buy expensive art supplies. Not that I have anything against them, it's just simply that it's, most of the time, Michael's is my store that I go to for supplies, and because I'm not a professional and I'm still learning, I haven't invested heavily into expensive acrylics, but I find that this Artist Loft brand seems to work fine for what I'm creating, which often is mixed media, unlike this piece that's specifically on a canvas with just the painting. So I am going to speed this process up
I am an impatient painting kind of person, which I think is one of the reasons I like acrylic because they acrylics because they do dry quickly. But even with that said, I did stop between each one of these and blow dry that rascal so that it would go faster. And at this point, I'm going in and adding in some of my shading, various highlights, and of course, all I can think of is shade. Shading. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank, guys. Anyway, you get the picture. I'm adding my darks and my lights. So that's, that's shading and highlights, right? Jeez, guys, you guys ever, your brain ever go, bleh.
At this point, I kind of go in, you'll see me use various pens, um, a variety to add in my details. And like I have said before, my favorite art to create is mixed media and I'm not above using anything that I have in this room that will let me achieve the look that I am after.
For a lot of projects, I do tend to like a slightly more graphic, I guess graphic would be the right term to use, graphic look, graphic feel. I tend to like outlines. I enjoy the process of outlining. So whenever I'm able to, I do incorporate it into my artwork. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I believe these are just some permanent pens from Ohuhu, who's, um, Markers were new to me, but I actually am really enjoying playing with them. So maybe in the future I'll be able to share something that I create with them. I managed to lose some footage, but at some point I did go back in and add, I don't know, another two or three coats in various spots on my background so that it was a lot more quote unquote solid. And then, da, 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 is there anything else I wanted to say? Oh, there is one. I have a quick question before I go and before this finishes up. Do you like working with acrylics and why or why not? I do because they dry fast and because I can pick up a huge variety of colors. But I know from watching other YouTube videos that some people hate acrylics. So what camp do you fall in? And the last little bit that I did was to varnish this with some Liquitex gloss varnish and let it dry good before I gave it a second coat. And I just want to say that he absolutely loved the painting. Thanks for watching, guys. I'd love it if you would subscribe so you'll get a notification, hit that little bell so you'll get a notification about when new videos go up. And please give this a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to get to know you better. And if you have a channel, come over and check it out. And if you don't have a channel, I'd still love to, you know, follow you in the hopes that at some point you are going to start a channel. So I'll see you guys later, hopefully next week with a new project. Bye!